Hi there, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to explain how to make sure you're using the best PE program you can for your school, one that Ofsted would totally approve of. When thinking about intent, it's vital that the programme is inclusive and ambitious for all learners and enables them all to make good progress, not just the children already at the top. Having a clear vision of what all your children are going to learn and achieve is vital. Implementation is where a strong PE programme really comes into play. There should be deep, consistent and repeated coverage of learning across all the year groups so that the skills you want the children to develop can be built upon year on year. Our programme does just that, allowing children consistent moments to practice and develop a mastery of key skills and themes. And with impact, the most important thing to know is that your children are making progress. The top programmes don't use in-depth formal assessments that take hours to complete, but instead use much quicker informal snapshot RAG ratings for key skills covered in each unit that, when layered, give a really good picture of the ability and progress of your children. Ofsted said a strong foundation of fundamental movement skills should be developed starting in early years and reinforced throughout primary PE. Researchers found that many younger pupils are not competent in basic fundamental movement skills, so of course it makes sense that you should have a programme that has a strong focus on all the fundamentals through all the ages of 5 to 11. OK, this is a big one. Think about the impact your PE curriculum has on the whole child and all those little things that PE offers that other subject areas simply can't. Making sure your PE programme hones in on the areas that develop communication skills, creativity, tactical thinking, perseverance and movement all help to make pupils' understanding of PE and what to do in different sporting contexts efficient, effective, intelligent and context related. Another must for the perfect PE programme is if it also provides a structure for learning beyond the lesson. Lunchtime games, after school clubs and encouraging ways to further play at home all help provide children, say Ofsted, with the opportunity to build, develop and refine their knowledge. Now for number seven, my last tip for a perfect PE programme. This is all about just how much CPD the programme offers to you. Just like how other subjects constantly change or tweak this or adapt that, the same happens with PE. So the best type of PE programme should also show that it's investing in you, just as much as you are investing in them. Explainer videos, webinars, curriculum updates and offering help with understanding all that PE-associated paperwork all go towards showing that you're supported in the profession. So there you have it. Now you know all of the ingredients that the perfect PE programme should have that would leave Ofsted no choice but to give you a huge round of applause and even a handshake that Paul Hollywood would be proud of. But if that has left you thinking that the perfect PE programme doesn't exist, well, you'll be pleased to know that there's one type of ambitious programme that fits within all of Ofsted's aims to raise the quality of PE for all young people. And that programme is iMoves. To get started with the iMoves PE programme and instantly tick all of those boxes just mentioned, take a look at the link below or visit iMoves.com. Thanks for stopping by, I'm Ryan for iMoves and I'll see you next time.